Hi guys, it's Becky here with uh, Noah's Ark Soap. I'm um, going to make a banana soap today. Um, this is going to be my first attempt at making a full video, so I don't know how it's going to work out. I'm using my iPad, so we'll see. Um, I got about a tablespoon of cocoa powder here and about a teaspoon of brown sugar. I'm just going to add that to the oils because banana is going to turn it brown anyway. So I just want to get this all mixed in before I add my milk. I went ahead and mixed my lye in because that part takes forever. And um, what I did was I did a whole banana and I put like equal parts of goat milk <clears throat> and then I blended it up to a liquid and froze it. And then um, I weighed that out and I added the rest goat milk to make up for the, the difference that I needed liquid wise. I'm not going to put any fragrance in this one. I'm just going to leave it natural as it is. I didn't want to put any artificial stuff in this one. Kind of working on a temporary setup here, so I have to bear with me. I have to reach around and get everything. I'm still trying to get my soap room set up. Kind of been out of the loop for a while. We had a house fire, so I was about eight months getting it redone and and moved back in. So I'm kind of glad to be back to soaping actually. butter in. Let it sit there a while. It's kind of starting to solidify. But it should blend right in there.
I'm going to just take a little bit off for <clears throat> add a little titanium dioxide just for a little swirl because nobody seems to to like it just plain. Like for it to be a little bit thicker, but I think it'll be all right. I'm just gonna do a little in the pot swirl. Nothing fancy, just a just an all natural one with goodies in it. Do it. And uh, I do use palm oil in my recipes. Um, so I did want to talk about that a little bit. Um, I just always try to find sustainable palm oil. That way it's not hurting the rainforest or, or anything. And uh, it's just farmers raise this palm oil uh, to make a living so I grew up a farmer's daughter and now I'm a farmer's wife and I kind of know how hard it is to make a living in farming so I just always make sure you know I don't <clears throat> buy it unless it's sustainable that way I feel like I'm helping somebody out anyway that has a pretty tough job I mean farming's not easy and it's definitely not that profitable. So you kind of got to love it, I guess. And we do. That looks about like all that's going to fit in there. So probably I won't even probably do anything to the top. Um... Definitely can't do it right now. It's too liquidy, but I'll probably just leave it as it is. And, uh, you know, just bevel the edges and just leave it kind of plain. But I will show you later if I decide to, to do the top. You'll see it in the, in the pictures. Make sure you can see it now. And there it is. Just cocoa banana. Thank you.